Hi neighbors, I'm sending you this video email because I care about education in Cambridge, because I've been an educator in and around Cambridge for about a decade, and because I'm confident that you care a lot about education issues too. In the next three minutes, I'll share my ideas about hands-on learning, after school and out of school programming, and mentorship. Feel free to respond with your thoughts, questions, and ideas. First, here's some background on me. I came to Cambridge over a decade ago to attend MIT, and afterwards I started two education-oriented businesses in Central Square. One of the businesses, Danger Awesome, is a laser cutting and 3D printing makerspace where kids and adults learn how to use high-tech equipment to make art, to excel in engineering, and to combine the two in exciting ways. In fact, I recently gave a TEDx Cambridge talk about how hands-on learning can turn spaces like Danger Awesome into a kind of one-room schoolhouse for the city. I'm also putting these principles to work as a faculty member at School of the Museum of Fine Arts, where I created and now teach Creative Futures, a popular entrepreneurship class for artists. As a candidate, I'm committed to a host of other issues as well, like creating middle-income housing, promoting arts and culture, and improving green energy emission standards. But if there's one city council issue I'm most passionate about bringing a fresh perspective to, it's education. And that's because city council controls human services budgets. And that means that current programs for summer youth employment could be more about mentorship, apprenticeship, and preparing students to return to the school year passionate about exploration, rather than just being another summer job. City Council can also make sure that our community school programs responsible for so much out-of-school programming and summer learning get the support and staff that they need. I understand that in order for these changes to be made, we'll have to work together. And every day, through my work at Danger Awesome in Museum School, I show other educators and administrators how powerful new types of hands-on learning can be. Day to day and test to test, it's easy to forget that when students really have access to high-tech equipment and project-based learning, they often create truly incredible things. Put a high-end camera in the hand of any child, and with a little nudging, you'll get amazing art and storytelling, naturally. The same is true for kid-safe architecture tools you may not be as familiar with like laser cutters or other engineering tools. We've seen that large numbers of our students are falling short of the college enrollment and college successes that we know they're capable of. And that's despite the more than $27,000 that we spend per student every year. The good news for a wealthy city like Cambridge is that by giving kids access, we can teach them mastery. And through hands-on learning, students who weren't strong in math or weren't strong in art begin to realize that sometimes you need both to finish an exciting project. And hey, when you're having fun and feeling creative, absorbing, absorbing these new skills really becomes second nature. Developing well-rounded, self-motivated students can be the norm in Cambridge if we think carefully about after-school and summer programming. And this isn't a pipe dream. This is the type of out-of-school learning already going on in Cambridge at places like The Possible Project, at My Shop Danger Awesome, and at Nuvu Studio. Students are finding empowerment and ultimately professional development through design, project-based learning, entrepreneurship, access, and collaboration. I'm excited to bring my expertise to City Council, and I hope you'll give me your number one vote on Tuesday, November 5th. Together, we can empower all students to identify and pursue their passions.